Welcome to another Chicken Nugget series where I show you how to configure anything in bite-sized chunks. We're going to look at air disabled recovery. All switches will detect problems on their ports, right? So if there's, you know, port security violation, power over ethernet <laughs> problem, flapping ports, right? There's all kinds of different things a switch will detect and and say, oh, shut it down, shut it down, boys, <laughs> because uh, it's, a, it's a bad thing. We don't want that to happen. And usually what the switch will do is put it in air disabled state, basically shut it down that port. Um, so here uh, in our situation, we have Discord being up to, uh, up, up to no good. Um, he's trying to flood this switch with a bunch of bogus MAC addresses, right? So if we f flood this switch and fill up the cam table, we can effectively turn this into a hub and start sniffing traffic. So Fluttershy is so sick of this. She ain't having none of this, okay? So what she did was she set port security in this port. Now, by default, uh, it will only allow one MAC address, and if there's more than that, <laughs> it will shut down uh, the port and basically put it in an error-disabled state, okay? Now, the issue is that he's been doing this often, Right, so he's been putting his port in an air disabled state shut down quite a few times. Flutter tries to do is she has to come in here and go to the port and do a shutdown, no shutdown to re enable the port, which is pain in the butt. So instead of her doing it, why don't you just let the switch do it? Right, so it's pretty easy. We go to global configuration and we just say air disable recovery and we say the cause, right? What are we looking for? And there are a bunch of different reasons, different states, why a port would go down. Um, we're going to name it port security. Um, but you can definitely choose the all parameter, but um, I wouldn't use that. We're not going to use that. And by default, um, it will wait five minutes before it will try and bring the port back up. We're not going to wait that long, so we're going to enter this command in. You don't need it, but you can adjust the time interval. Um, so we're going to set that to 30 seconds. And then there's a handy show command that will show you the statuses of your interface. Um, all the, um, You can use the parameter air disabled to narrow it down and see all the air disabled ports and the, the reasons why. And there are a bunch of reasons. <laughs> but we're going to focus on port security violations. So we'll go to the switch here. And we're going to see... All the ports in an air disabled state. So you can see Discord port 4 air disabled status. The reason is because of a port security violation. Okay, so we're going to go to global configuration, air disable, recovery cause, and there are a bunch of different you know reasons you can pick, right? A um, bunch of different ones you can select to tell uh, air disabled recovery to go ahead and try uh, to bring up those ports in that state. Uh, but we're just going to focus on Port security violation. Any of those ports on the switch. This is configured globally. Can't go into the interface. Um, and then air disable recovery interval. Um, we're going to do 30 seconds. So we'll wait for that to do its thing. The port is off right now. Um, give it a give it a minute. Right now, it's still yep air disabled state. And Wait for it to turn back on. <laughs> Still waiting game at this point. Should be up any second now. <laughs> Just waiting. 30 seconds. <laughs> it's so quiet. There we go. So the port's trying to come back up. Uh, you can see air recovering. Um, you can see there aren't any other ports. Right? See, look. Before there was a port in there, now there isn't. It just recovered the port. So you can see it went up and up. So it did its job, 30 seconds, right? So the port's still amber, um, still learning, uh, MAC addresses and all that, STP goodness and whatnot. Oh, it went back down. Oh, yep, the light on my switch, just, just saw it. So you can see port security, as soon as the port came back on, port security is like, eh, I ain't having none of that. I, you're violating. Stop, stop. <laughs> and it shut down the port. Again, because Discord is still spamming our switch with bogus MAC addresses. <sighs> then it went down, down. As you can see, 
the port. It was there weren't any ports in an air disabled state after you know air disabled recovery tried to recover the port. Now there we go. <laughs> air disabled. Oh, and it is trying to recover the port again, right? Every 30 seconds. And it's gonna go on this continual loop. And basically at this point, to fix this, either you disable port security, which is isn't good, right? That isn't the goal. Or you tell Discord to knock it off. <laughs> so I hope that was helpful, and uh, thank you for watching.